it's Gabrielle and today is a little bit of a different video. Um, my boyfriend will be doing a voiceover. If you want me to upload this video again without his voiceover but with my own, then leave it in the comments below. I will be testing out some new products like this Pure Lease BB Cream I personally haven't tried on myself. I recently was one of the makeup artists that did the makeup for their promo shots and their social media shots. So I'm really excited to test this out on myself and I'll let you know what I think at a video in a later date. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. Oh, um, one last note, my skin is already all prepped with uh, Purely Skin Care. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. Um, once I've been using it for a month, then I'll make a separate video with all my thoughts and updates, what worked, what didn't work, and etc. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Mark. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different this, I guess, month. I am going to explain to you how Gabby is doing this. So I'm watching the video for the first time right now. So as you can see, uh, she has put on her foundation, I think that's what it is, with a blue spongy thing. And uh, you squirt it on top, make it look like a snowman. And uh, and then you rub it into your face, starting with your chin and your cheeks, and then you dab into your forehead area. And I guess it looks like, oh, oh, a Pure Lease BB Cream. You do a left cheek dab, a right cheek dab, and a forehead dab. And then NYX finishing powder. It's not the NYX Wonder Stick. Okay, NYX finishing powder. And apparently you finish it. You put it, you go over where you just did. And then this guy, I would say it looks like Taylor Swift, but I don't know. So now, Oh, it's a highlighter? Maybe? So, oh gosh, oh gosh, so you do your cheeky areas, your nose, here, and now she's got three different colors. Oh, this is like a blush, it looks like. So you use like your like blushers. Oh, I didn't know you go up into your hairline. That's interesting. I guess you can blush there, or here. Um, so you blush, and then in circles, you blend out, and then, whoa, X booth. Is this eyeshadow? Yeah, it's an eyeshadow. It's Bobbi Brown. We're going to start with the, the left color, and then we're going to go one right below. A little bit more of like a middle, like, tanny, smoky. Uh, underneath, oh, you get your eye crevice. Um, you start. So you start on one side and go to the center. Then you start in the center and go to the, the other side. Then you go all the way around like a rainbow. Oh, and then, ooh, then we go for the third shade. Where we start on the outside of the eye and work our way in. Like, like this. Um, we'll get in the corner and work our way in. And then, I don't know if there was a different color there. I was too busy looking at. Now we're going to go for under the eye. I do the same thing. Start on the outer edge and work your way into the center. Stop, okay. Back to the same thing, a little bit of a whiter gray. Bobby palette. Ooh, you go at the corners of the eyes. Ooh. And it's very, yeah, when you do that, you have to do it like this. There's just some sort of spray. Be careful, it'll scare you. Oh, it must be a cleaner. It's a cleaner. Use a cleaner for your brush. Okay, now you're going for the gold. I'm going to do a gold look. Um, 
food next to the silver, drag it in a little bit, starting at the corner of your eye, like right here by your nose, and then dragging it out and across. It's like painting. Jagged eyeliner, I think. You do an eyeliner. Again, you don't try to go through the whole thing. I'm learning this. This is the first time I'm noticing. I would have just thought you got quick, but you kind of just start and you kind of slowly move your way across. Urban Decay 24 7 Eye Pencil. Purple? It looks purple. Whoa! Cool. Okay. Yeah, so same thing. So you do black underneath your eye, and then you do a little tiny purpley thing. On, oh, did both eyes very quickly. Cool. Is that a black color now? Oh, you went back. So you did purple and then a little bit of a black. Cool. Okay, and now we're going to do the brows or the brush. You start on the, the corner of your brow and you work your way in. You're coloring each individual brow on your face to give your brows a more like luscious, thick brow look. Um, yeah. And then you work your way in till you get to the center, close your nose, and then you kind of feather it out, doing the feather technique. It's thicker where the brows are and a little bit lighter as you get up to the top. Ooh, and now I got it. It's super important. You got to do your lashes. Oh, no, not lashes first. Then you got to comb it through your brow. Comb through your brow. It's all about the brows, girl. All about the brows. Okay. Oh, is this purple too? Oh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna outline our lip and do some purpling on the lip. Lip pencil. I think it's the same thing I use for the eyes. Maybe not. So you're gonna basically. Go darker on the outside and then make go around, leaving this part blank. And then you're going to take the lipstick, which is purple lipstick, and then go here and blend it in. Oh, and this is the Milk Cosmetic Lip, um, which Gabby won, by the way. She won one of the contests, which is so awesome. Um, she's been raving about that product. Let me do it on the bottom. And then you get it on the top. Yeah. So you're going to take your Melt Cosmetic lip shiny metallic blue look. What's that? Oh, now we go for the eyes. The eyelashes. Go for the eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelashes. Again, starting from the out, working your way in. Same thing from the bottom, starting from the out, working your way in. And then, of course, moisture mist. Mmm. Take a breath. Other side. And then you pat yourself. You have to pat yourself down again with your blue sponge. So that concludes my makeup tutorial. Um, I am a little nervous as to how well he's done. Some of the products he should have known, but you never know. And I'm a little nervous. Um, if you want me to do a serious voiceover, just leave it in the comments below and I can upload another video of the same look with me kind of explaining and going more in depth into what I used. Um, if you want to see more silly stuff, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. It means a lot to me. Um, and then if you want a more in-depth look into my life and all the silly hijinks I do, follow me on social media at Gabrielle HMUA. Um, I'll leave follow a link down Instagram. below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.
Done.